<laughs> Welcome to video two of my upcycle series. I need to come up with a title for this series. What should it be? The holidays are here and gone. New Year's is right around the corner. And um, I have some velvet that I have yet to use that I got from the thrift store last year. No, yeah, last year. Before Christmas, and I like orange mango Christmas hats I never did that. So. I'm gonna use that up and wear it on New Year's, hopefully, if it looks good. Let's go look at it. It's like kind of really crappy quality. Great job. I think this would be great for a slip dress. Honestly, like I see a lot of velvet dresses and skirts. And I just, I don't know. I don't love velvet that much. But I've been seeing these velvet slip dresses and they're like hot. <laughs> Maybe I'm gonna try to be trendy. <laughs> okay, let's try it. Now you're probably asking, what's the plan, Stan? And I'll tell you. <laughs> basically planning on just cutting out the same thing for the front and the back really simple design just kind of a v-neck shift dress design i just remembered that i have this v-neck pattern that i've already made even though i could probably just wing this wow but here's what i'm doing i have my low quality velvet here I'm gonna take my fabric and I'm going to fold it in half. And then I'm going to lay my pattern down like this. Wait. Yeah. Yep. So I'm gonna take my pattern and lay it down like this. So that it's on the no, folded no, side. no, no, no. <laughs> Here's the folded side right here. I'm going to take it like this. This is the center of the tank so that I can unfold it and have two symmetrical sides. I'm going to do that for the front and the back. Let's do this. I'm ready. I did it. I can put my hair down because I look like I'm about to give birth to some baby chicks on top of my head right now because my head looks like a nest. That was weak, I admit. I tried. <laughs> my sewing room is like a freaking dungeon. It gets so dark in there. So welcome to my kitchen. Mozzarella. Did you notice my DIY tennis racket? very random but i enjoy it video linked below okay so i have my front and my back pieces next step this is what the front piece just looks like Ooh. i'm gonna just be securing all these raw edges hemming them folding over twice making a straight stitch and kind of go from there sound good sound like a plant stand sound good sound plant stand why, why am I holding these grilling tongs? Why do I suddenly feel like grilling? Does my hat say, what up, dog? <laughs> I'm not ready to be a dad. I got your nose. <laughs> it's nighttime now. So update, Um, I already messed it up. <laughs> Um, I give up. We're good. But this is what I have finished. I just hemmed each of these edges here. Now I'm going to the back side. I'm gonna lay it right sides together and then I'm gonna sew the side seams together here and here. 12 o'clock midnight. Okay, good job team. I got it all sewn up. I sewed the front and the back together, so it looks like this. It's like really big right now. I can fit it over all of my clothes. Probably a little bit too big, so I'll take it in later. But right now I'm gonna make the straps. So how am I gonna make the straps, you ask? Chill out, I'll tell you. 
Boy, if you don't. So my goal is to make them like super, super, super long. Super, super, super. So that I can do, you know, tie a bow and then have the end kind of like dangling down pretty far. I have all this like long scrap left. So I think what I'm gonna do is just make a tube. So I'm gonna take the velvet part like this and then I'm gonna fold it in half and then I'm going to sew down here and then I'm going to turn it inside out. But it's gonna be super long and that's gonna be really hard. And I don't know how people do that and I need to look up how to do that. Yeah, so um, it's the next day. I got frustrated and gave up. I stitched up the tube and then I tried to um, turn it inside out with random objects that didn't work so i realized that i needed to buy a tube turner this is what it looks like dritz quick turn Ooh. i'm really hope oh wait i forgot to show you i'm wearing my sewing socks today thanks aunt pam they're the best socks ever and they're my favorite i like them because when i sit down most jeans you can only see the word bitch because my jeans just cover it up till there and i i think that's funny <gasps> Okay, anyway. I'm really hoping that this tube turner is going to work, because if it doesn't, I'm kind of screwed. <laughs> This is how it turned out. It's like a, a little velvety tube. I think I can make this work. Okay, cool. So now I'm gonna stitch up the other one and then I'll show you what I'm gonna do, how I'm gonna sew them on. And probably eat some chips too. How could I feel I did it. They're looking good. I need to put them on. Okay, let's try and put them on the dress. Here we go, here's our dress. Looks cool, all right. I wanted to make like a little ruffle. I'll just do do something like this. And sew the strap on underneath right there. Do that for all, all four. One, two, three, four on the back. Okay. Thank you for granted. Um, so, yeah, got the straps sewn on. I'm just gonna cut them evenly right here and then I'll try it on for you. I know, it it doesn't look good. Just... So here we are. Um, it's extremely unflattering at the moment. I think what would make this dress cute is if it fit me. So I'm gonna take in the sides and then hem the bottom. And by that time, it'll, it'll hold up to my standards of being the most perfect thing that I've ever made, which I expect of myself every single time I start a sewing project. Mozzarella. Cheerio. Okay, that should do it. Let's see how this baby looks. say I am feeling this dress. I really love it because you can wear it so many ways. I feel like I could put a sweater underneath or like dress it up for New Year's Eve. I'm thinking that I want to wear one of those like sparkly sheer long sleeve tops. I think that would look really cool. Making this has gotten me really excited to dig into my stash of stuff that I haven't used yet. I like, I bought this last year and want to make something, but now that I'm forcing myself to make stuff, like it's gotten really excited. You can definitely expect to see photos of this dress on my Instagram on New Year's Eve. I definitely plan on wearing this because I love it. So anyway, hope to see you next time and um, happy new year. How could I feel like